Super excited to be back with more Cobalt Core. I need to try to figure out this second character. It's quite a bit harder to under for me to understand anyway than the starting one. This game's really good though. It's uh, Slay the Spire, but with a really interesting like spaceship mechanic. And I left myself in the middle of a run last time, so I'm probably gonna have no idea what I'm doing and take a minute to get back in the swing of things here. So, okay, I can use evasion to move left and right. I just picked up this Jupiter drone that mirrors my abilities. I have four mana. I think twice I can use in an emergency if I need more like evade or whatever. Dodge, quick thinking. Dodge can get me away from that shot. Okay, so just kind of want to set up the character, I guess. Uh, but I blew up my drone. Okay. Gotta be more careful. I just want to get one clear with Isaac. It seems like it's hard to set him up. You have to get a lot of good cards for him to be good. Add one. May as well use that. Put a mine front there. They overload. Missiles and drones launch backwards. But I get three energy, but it's not helpful on this turn. So we can do the mine, which protects me from getting shot that turn. That gives me drone shift, which is evade but for drones, but it's also going to instantly move that guy, which I don't want. Energy doesn't carry over, but evasion does, is that right? Then he should shoot the mine and blow himself up. Okay. Draw one card of each color from the draw pile. Bolt is basically free here, although it exhausts. Sidestep gets me moving a little all the way, but let's do other things first. It's good with second opinions. Draw a shot. Striker squadron. Let's be less energy next turn. I'll try to deal with. But I want to shoot my own guy here, so let's play it safe. I have three evade right now. Basic dodge. Do the bay overload, but that points everything at me. Now that makes them launch backwards, right? So any ones that are already out don't get turned around to face me. Okay. Okay. Card's not discarded. I might hold on to that. Scramble seems like okay value here. These guys are shielded, right? one hit without being destroyed. So if I parallel shift, fortunately I don't want the drone move right. I want the drone shift, but I don't want that. But I already have some drone shift. I can just do that. Okay, sure. Um, and then I could move one over to shoot him in the center. It's energy next turn, right? use my remaining energy to build this up so that I have it. Okay. Charge beam. If I lose my drone there, it's not the end of the world. That would replace my own drone, which I don't want to do. Maybe two to the right, which I'm not super pumped about. I don't want to discard sidestep, so I'll just use it now. Think twice. Block, but it's only for one, so I think I just want to dodge out of the way of the attacks here. I think twice again. I'm 
mess with my drones here. I want to waste on a basic shot. Will always move me to the right, but I can hold on to it. And lunge, I don't think I want to waste. It's going to make me take damage, so I'll live with what I got. See, he just has like a power up that's happening constantly. Add three damage to all attacks. Power drive is just going up every round, essentially. Charge beam. Probably have lethal now. My drone should finish him off. Um, I forget the order of attacks in this, so... Let's see if I can clear him here. Do my drones get to go first when drone attacks get resolved, is that right? I should have lethal then. The drone's just gonna shoot and he'll die. Okay, got it. Vamoose. Move random three spaces. Cost three. It gives you four evade, so that could be good sometimes. Destroying the repair kit heals the destroyer's hull for two. Flex move. Gives me drone shift and evade for one. That's actually kind of good. one I think that's pretty decent value I don't really have room in my deck right now to take it but oh yeah uh, your discard pile is shuffled back to drop pile the enemy loses a hull An extra energy every turn every fifth time you attack you gain an evade every time an attack misses the enemy by one space the enemy takes one damage okay so I can get damage from that if I have to graze them one shield and evade every turn. Artifact map nodes offer an extra option. Card upgrades and removal and unknown. This goes to the mini boss. Um see my deck somehow, right? Basic block, basic attack. I think about upgrading something. I already have several of these upgraded. Lethal is super common in uh, in Magic. It's common in like any kind of card game, right? Like knowing that you have lethal, you can sometimes keep playing, not realizing that you could have won the game. Every tenth time you draw a card, you gain an energy. Gain three drone shipped on the first turn. Gotcha. Your battery. You have draw. I guess let's draw and see if I want to use the Actually, I do. Okay. Arch beam. Pop space mine there. Can move a bit over. Sidestep Jupiter Drone. Let's not shoot my drone this time. That was a big mistake before. Jupiter Drone reproduces my attacks, which I don't have any right now, but I can start accruing the evade because it doesn't go anywhere. And block also carries over, is that true? There's like temporary block that's only for that turn, if I'm remembering right. I could do this. It still will blow up, and then I get some drone shift. Gotcha. What we got going on here? He's doing some kind of. I'm just gonna give you a card wherever you are. 
And I have like a stun ability sometimes where I can like stop that gun from doing something if I target it at the right time. Duplicate multi-shot, which is cool. Every time you attack, this drone copies your attack. Pretty nice. Launch an object one space to the left of your missile bay. So this means that if I activate this from here, I'll get the striker squadron on both sides of my Jupiter drone without blowing it up. I think that's correct. Okay. I like that that's in the design space. Twice here. I can try to do the missile shot maybe, because I'll get it duplicated. I ended up shooting him once, which I didn't intend. Yeah, I think I had it with my previous one. Okay, that gave me days cards. That's fine. I can move them into position here. I'll move them one more. Now I'm not taking damage, but I can't shoot safely unless if I moved out of the way. Could move out of the way. I do this and then multi shot, and it should take one damage anyway because I'm missing it by one tile for my artifact. And my Jupiter drone shot it. Got it. Okay. Can do another attack drone. right before the lunge. So he just reproduces the attack. He doesn't reproduce the entire lunge card, right? Oh, <laughs> whoops, that was my bad. Oh yeah, I keep screwing up pressing left bumper and right bumper. I wish I could turn on to always ask me to confirm if I want to evade or drone shift. It's very easy to lose track of those. I would have had lethal there, but I hadn't have fucked it up. That's okay. I should have it now. Small boulder B. It's already upgraded small boulder. Blocks an attack. Two of them. Move three spaces in a random direction. Now that says you move all three spaces in the random direction, right? Like not, it doesn't like roll once and then again and then again. A different card, I suppose. Big boy here. Hold on, the first turn isn't doing anything. Right, I forgot that the missile comes out of my um, my drone bay. Okay, careful with that. Well, I've got one block, so that's okay. That's kind of like one of the walled, you are walled in. I haven't seen that mechanic before, okay. Okay, we're fine, everything's fine, nothing is ruined. We'll all move right one, which puts, which would block the four damage attack. Quite mean. I want to draw and see what happens, but oh, 
Oh, I was out of mana. Fuck. Oh, I got an extra battery. That's right. Let's see. So I can do scramble. I can't completely dodge the attacks, and I don't really have much else in the way of defense here. I could do. I can move right one and then drop a space mine by sidestep. Damage. I'm still gonna take one. This could pull me some zero cost cards, maybe, which I don't have any. But let's then launch backwards. As long as I don't use one until that wears off, I'm okay. Uh, could dodge. Get one more over. Ah, uh, but my gun bay is weak here, so I have to be careful having that be the one that takes the damage. Um, I guess I could just parallel shift all of them, right? And then I lose the mine's gonna die anyway. I'm okay with not having the turret take damage. And then can I like a crew dodge while I'm waiting here for next turn? I like that dodge is less good in this screen against this enemy because of the walled mechanic that's new. I don't think I'd encountered that before. So, let's see. I could probably just win this here. produces the charge beam, which is really good if I can get those two going together. I think my first victory was the two of those. Choose a card in your draw pile, put it in your hand. Exhaust. Well, that takes up no space in my deck. Um, attack for four, add three fumes to your draw pile. Okay. Can I look at this and see what the upgrades are? Is there a button for me to do that? Oh, here we go. It says X at the top. Okay. Choose two cards in your draw pile, put them in your hand. Choose a card, draw, draw or discard pile card. So those are both good. <laughs> yeah, I think we take this just because it doesn't cost me anything. Every fourth turn, you get an overdrive. Add one damage to all attacks. You get one energy every third turn. Every time your discard pile is shuffled back in your draw pile, gain an evade. That seems pretty crazy, actually. I have a lot of, like, card draw in this, so... Okay. Striker Squadron here. Don't want to take four damage. So can I stop that? I do like that Evade carries over, so if you had an Evade card, you may as well just, like, pop it as soon as you see it. Don't accidentally move my drones. I want to move the ship. Draw shots. Could do the Jupiter drone, but it's going to die if I place it here. Here. And then I can try to start doing attacks. See what I get. Filtering is good here. Now it would be nice to move back in and place the mine. It costs zero. I could do charge beam. I'm guessing my Jupiter drone reproducing the charge beam doesn't make the charge beam card get better. It just reproduces whatever damage is currently on it, which is fine. battery lets me use my other cards though. I guess now I don't have the evade. I guess I could block it by, well let's see, so if we multi-shot, I got my miss by one ability which is really good. And then I can drone shift them because the bubble will save me from damage. I can make an attack. I can guess I can do the missile shot. More 
shields and armor. But I blew up my Jupiter drone. Right. I forgot that part. That thing also has an attack. It's gotten me a couple times. Goes the bubble. Okay. Charge beam. It's a shame I wasted my Jupiter drone. What are you gonna do? Quick thinking. Probably live with a bay overload here. Um, careful putting a space mine out when it's not helping me immediately because it also becomes a problem for me. Start building a vade. Don't want those guys moving moving one. Let's think twice. Do another attack drone here. Oh, right. Shit. I forgot about that. Calling that drone Roy. Roy's our boy. Very easy to forget when I do that. It's a bit of a waste, but I can live with it. I prefer dodge to block overall. They're both useful. I like that that applies to the drones, too, that if they miss by one, they still do one damage. It's quite good. Oh, I got it. Oh, I shot an empty space. Shit. Right, I forgot that that's a thing. Okay, it's fine. Try to correct it here. If I move two to the right and hit one... Not enough damage. Ah! I can move my drone back over and then he should kill it. Okay. Small boulder, shift shot, missile shot. I think I'm okay. An artifact. Revenge drive. The first time you lose hull, gain an overdrive. Gain an extra energy on the first turn. One extra damage is pretty good, but it's only when I take damage. I'm probably going to be taking damage in the boss fight at the end. I like having more energy to have more choices on the first turn, because I can really set stuff up. And I have so much card draw, I'm probably going to be able to use it every time. One extra damage is really good, especially for like that multi-attack. And if I don't fuck up and destroy my uh, Jupiter, I think I'm going to take the revenge drive. I'm trying to plan for the boss here. Uh, let's see. Fire a missile. Can keep firing from here and I'll still do damage. Striker Squadron out now. So I don't know what I'll draw if I do draw a shot. I guess I could pull more energy. It didn't. That's okay. Might as well start building that. Probably should use sidestep there instead of using up another evade, but that's okay. Hold on to the evade. Second opinions and selective memory. I can see my draw pile, right? Block, charge beam, extra battery, launch, Jupiter drone. If I draw one of each color, I'm guaranteed to get charge beam basic block, so it would basically be also pulling in lunge. Plus, if I hold it for when I fully cycle the deck, which I should be able to force. I take this guy, gives me everything. 
then charge beam would only hit for one, so if I fire from here, that's fine, because it would only do one, but it still makes the card better. Uh, I probably should have spawned the Jupiter drone before I did that, but that's okay. Spawn the space mine. Save myself some damage taken. I do quick thinking that'll cycle the deck. And then I can selective memory from... Oh, shit. God, that was a misclick. Very annoying. It's a way to force give myself some damage. I think we take this kind of a victory condition. I have to move into place to actually hit it here. That evade is really nasty. How does that work for him? Does he just have, like, where do I see that he can do that? Or is it, it's like a thing that gets consumed every turn? for more evade here. I think that's lethal, yeah, because of the overdrive. Calculated. Uh, attacks against a temp shield. Uh, every mid-row object. That costs two. I guess it is pretty good. We have a lot of them. An extra planar being. Nice. What do you value most? Healing. Single use completely removes it from your deck. I review my current stats. Okay, I only have one hull damage at the moment. Healing's good, but I'm not going to be able to take advantage of it unless if I sit on it forever, so I think we take the damage. Thanks. Alright, hull. Upgrade a card, probably. Selective memory. What are my options for the Jupiter drone? Makes it cost zero. Makes it spawn with a bubble. It's pretty good. Draw a card, gain energy. Missile malfunction lasts for less time. I think selective memory A is really good. Especially if I get it early. Already up did I upgrade the battery? Energy next turn. I'm actually better off removing a card. Let's get rid of basic dodge. Much better sources of dodge. Hope you didn't need that. Good luck out there. Okay, so this will let me pull extra battery. Second opinion gives me a bunch of cards, one of which is quick thinking, uh, which I do want to use, but I want to make sure that I have room in my hand. Got seven mana. If I move over two, I am going to hit his weak spot. Okay. Then I can space mine there. Okay. Basic block. Now I can safely quick thinking. I want a Jupiter drone, the ephemeral blast, you know? There it is, okay. So we go over one, Jupiter drone, charge beam, ephemeral blast for 14 damage. You love to see it. I can 
maybe save my drones too. Smart about this. May as well use bolts. I don't have any more draw available, which is fine. Yeah, I see. This thing, concussible, thanks. I have two shield. I'd like to just get as many drones out as I can, that's kind of my thought here. Great. It's Slay the Spire, but there's like a ship you have to deal with. It's very smart. Okay, so piercing attack is an attack that happens after the missile shot, and I fucked it up like literally every time. Oh, I forgot to move my Jupiter, Jupiter drone. Shit. It's like my whole plan. Um... Let's see, I have one evade. Missile shot is actually significantly more of a burden than I anticipated it would be at the beginning. If I parallel shift, then I can shoot, and the four shot is blocked, which is cool. Draw shot. This thing also has like armor, it takes one less damage from attacks, okay. Which is nasty. Well, let's just try to cycle through the deck so I can get that free evade. Let's also build up charge beam too, that's pretty good. Let's eat this. Yeah, I feel like they should be they need to be quite powerful to justify the risk in using them. Oh yeah, because the concussible means that the the turret essentially protects itself. Okay, I wasn't thinking about that, but that makes sense. Um, all right, so sidestep. I have to evade. I have to move one more over. Spawn another attack drone. I'm probably gonna use that to block damage to myself, honestly. So let's go right one, draw shot. Have this annoying trash. Do I have to play it to discard it? Which is acceptable, but charge beam. Fade one more. The attack drone there, it'll blow up, but that's fine. I can live with it. Uh, I guess I can get rid of this trash. Quick thinking just to cycle to get more free evade. I don't need or want to sidestep here, but I do want to keep the cycling going. Probably need to just use Bay Overload and just deal with it. It's two turns of reversing them, but could be worse. I can draw shots. Now that thing's concussed. Keep building up that evade. That uh, I really like that artifact I got that makes it so that I get evade whenever I shuffle the deck. That's really good, I think. Charge beam. Keep building that. And I think I just sit now. I guess I could, well, 
This makes it take two damage. He's gonna shoot it for one damage, so it doesn't really matter. I think Riggs is my favorite shipmate. Missile, which would be great if I could turn it around somehow. Okay, I should be really careful with what I put out there right now. So I could. Go right one, concuss this guy, although I'm not doing any damage because of the armor. I can go two more, pop the space mine, which, so how does that work? Like it blows up the missile, they blow up each other? Oh, because I put a mine out, the mine exploded and dealt damage to me. Okay, that's a little silly, but I, I understand what I did wrong there. So missile, which is facing me, because I forgot about that, oops. Um, whoopsies. Place it with an attack drone, I guess. I did some piercing damage, so it wasn't like a complete waste, but. I think I'm just gonna have to eat some damage because I'm a dumbass. That's alright. I think I'm doing okay in this fight anyway. Now, do I get overdrive for the next turn? No, I have to take hull damage on my turn, so that's kind of tricky. I wasn't thinking about that before. Oh, yeah, we got this. No problem. Who shall it be this time? Let's do Isaac. Probably not going to run with Isaac after this. I think we'll stay on normal difficulty for a while. I tried doing some hard difficulty last time, and it's, like, harder than it appears to be, at least to start. I probably need to get more familiar with the game and the cards. Memory one... T minus 218 days. Sir? Assistant? I absolutely have a title and it's security officer. This song sounds like it's Paul stretched, which always sounds cool. Didn't know that. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Break. Careful not to overheat. Okay, sweet. Let's try Drake. Tax and instant movement, flexible movement and card draw. Shielding and shield manipulation, we'll just try this. I do like the concept of the weak cockpit. I think that's really flavorful. You have an extra basic shot. That sucks. You are pre-upgraded card offerings. Corrupted core. Well, hardest seems really difficult. Did I get? I think I had to win with. I'm gonna run without Dizzy Riggs or Perry on your crew. Which I physically can't do yet. 40 different artifacts, one run. Oh, that's what I was trying to do hard to get the second ship. That's okay. With the boot option, upgrade two random cards, pick from three uncommon cards. I think an upgrade is probably better at the start. Yeah, they're less terrible than strikes and defends because of that. Although, like, then you're there's still an opportunity cost, and you're spending your upgrade on upgrading a basic card. Like, I think them making that a difficulty penalty that you start with an extra basic shot certainly makes sense. So that makes the game harder. Launch a basic block. A. Flip the direction of its actions. That's pretty helpful. Uh, 
Oh, you guys. Whoop, whoop. Alarm sounds. Seize the intruder. These time loops are getting weirder. I love this game's art. And all the characters are cool, and it's legitimately quite funny. Okay, let's see. We got multi shot. Flip it, which would be good here. EMP slug. Heat is three or more overheats. Take a whole damage and reset heat to zero. Now the whole damage, if I take whole damage from heat, does that bypass shield or shield always takes, I guess if it says whole damage, that means it's ignoring shield, right? Okay. Well, the nice thing that has stun on it, which is good. It does cost two. So if I want to flip this, press B to flip. Oh, that... <laughs> flip the direction of its actions. I thought it was the order of the actions. Okay, that's a little bit different. It still gets me out of dodge, though. I'm going to miss that ability that lets me do one damage if I miss by one tile. That was really good. What are my starting relics here? Warp shield. In fact, map nodes offer an extra option. Heat sink. Minus one heat. Okay, that's cool. Now I could lunge over. It's actually still pretty helpful. Probably wanted to do the scramble, honestly, but it's okay. okay Drake seems like a cool character. I can get over one here. I can stun the thing. Hit for three and a stun, which is lovely. And turn. Three heat is when we have a problem. So we got. It's doing. Why satisfied it to itself? It's going to raise their shields. Stun cancels every intent, regardless of whether it's damage or not. Okay, that's cool. Um, I think two over is not what I want here. Don't shield yourself, jackass. Too easy. All right, so I'm gonna be careful with the heat sink now. And I think we've got lethal. Boom. Panic, shield, attack for zero. Hermes boots, when you move, move one farther. Lose this at the end of your turn. That's interesting. So it's essentially evade two, but also if you have extra evade, you can evade more on that turn. That could be problematic. Um, what does this evolve into? Cost zero. Two stacks. Oh, you move two further. Interesting. I'm just gonna skip. Uh, let's go down and get that mini boss. Okay, so we have mines in this level. Draw a shot to see if I pull the heat ability. I didn't. I got the other heat ability. This is where it would be nice to have Isaac so I could drone shift the mines in front of the enemy here. Um, don't think I can get out of the way of this. Scramble would get me out. It was kind of like a paste, but... Okay, so he's doing a fancy thing here. Auto-dodge. If fired on, moves completely out of the way left. Increases by one each time it triggers. Okay. So him moving completely out of the way might actually be good for me, because I think it means... 
It's not quite pointing at that. Okay, that's fine. Buff on himself here. Let's draw a shot. The wrong thing again. I do have two shields, so I could stand to stand here and try to punch at him a bunch of times here. Tolerable. But he's gonna dodge completely out of the way to the right. Which means I can get him away from me, which is good. I need to dodge to get out of this. And I guess I can accrue some block and just chill for a minute. That he keeps doing that dodge is pretty annoying. Um, Don't have enough evade to get over an EMP slug him. I haven't been able to force him into a mine yet, which is frustrating. That's okay. Oh, we got lethal. That's fine. Very well. Options. Two extra cards next turn. Exothermic release. Does an attack for one, drains heat by three. What does this evolve into? Cost zero. Piercing shot for three. Those are both good. Okay, I think I like that. I want to try to make heat work. It seems like a cool concept. You again. Which of you shall I teach this time? Let's do Drake cards. Cancel every single intent on the enemy ship. Total stun. Damn. Generates two heat. Solar flare. Uh, hot foot. I'm guessing you can get a build where you actually are like trying to take heat damage. Um, I don't know if that's worth the downside. It's card a random card. Draw two cards, heat down. This card is not discarded when played. I like that. I mean, it costs one, but it's basically a permanent way to get rid of heat. And what is that? Is that called looting in uh, Magic the Gathering? You discard a card and you draw a card. You get an extra card net. I think anything that says it makes you do something to a random card is always less bad than it sounds because you can use it when your turn's almost over and make sure that it's not discarding your good stuff. What does this evolve into? It removes the downside, minus one heat. Discard two, draw four, minus two heat. Yeah, that makes sense. So I don't really have a great setup right now for a mini boss. I'm gonna give it a try. Evil copy of yourself too. This is Drake. I'm not here right now. Leave a message after the beep, then die. The bot up to look like you. Is that weird? It's not weird. I say my cool, not embarrassing password now. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just fight it. So to start with, the computer's not doing nothing, which is nice. Take the piercing damage since he has shields, but I guess I just need to deplete his shields, so that's probably more important. before. Don't you dare. Uh, I ban you from doing that. Okay. Random. Get rid of that heat. I guess this is counting against all my future draws, right? If it's always in my hand. 
Well, I guess I'll start with six next turn if I understood it correctly. Exothermic release. Yeah, that's cool. I like the mechanic. Don't have evade with this setup. I can't get a kill here. I can use lunge to try to avoid some of this. Lunge means that I'm not going to be able to go any further, though, so... Do damage first. I have enough shield. Okay. There's two heat. Nasty. I can do that, and then, well, I would take a hull damage from the heat. But I would not take three damage. Overheating's a myth. Beating the boss of each of the little, like, acts is, uh... Ooh. I think twice. I really like this card. Beating the boss gives you a full heal, is that right? At least on normal difficulty. Shield, temp shield, heat. I think I windmill slam, think twice. I think it's really good. Um, okay, it's just a big heal. Your first attack each turn, gain a stun charge, which is nice. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. This is, uh, what is it, the, the top in Slay the Spire? I really like the stun calibrator. I'd have to try to make this happen. This is helpful right away. This is would be helpful if I saw it later and already had a shit ton of draw and like basically infinite energy. I'm not gonna fall for the trap of trying to build around this. I'm gonna take the thing that's helpful now. Okay. Although I really want to fall for the trap of trying to build for the cool thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't really do anything on its own. Good stun. Let's see what I pull here. I really like that mechanic. I think that might be one of my favorite relics in the game. The one that gives you stun charge after your first attack each turn. It seems really good. Uh, I could do this. I don't really get anything for cycling right now, so I guess I could just try to do damage. Cycling is often good, but not super necessary. EMP Slug. Only gain one shitty card. Not a lot that costs zero, but basic block. I guess having a basic block costing zero makes cycling okay. Cancel the intent of his thing. I don't have the MP to do it. Solar Wind says... Hydro objects move right one. Drake being missing is an effect the computer did. Does that mean an EMP slug? I have to spend it to bring them back. Okay, that's pretty mean. Um... See what I pull here and might save the day. Plus one corrode on draw, minus one corrode when played. Oof. I think I pull late for this. I'm hoping to pull the shield, but I'm I haven't shielded, so I should be okay. Basic block. 
second shot. The second shot doesn't count for that. It's your second attack, right? Oh, no, it did cancel it. Okay, that's cool. Nice. I guess I'll bring Drake back. But I'm about to lose somebody else, yeah. Okay. It's fine. Shit happens. Gonna do damage here. Lunge to do damage. Faint parry attack damage the total damage of enemies' cannon attacks. Total damage of their intents, essentially. Overdrive one heat. So I think about that as being the equivalent of doing one damage. It's decently costed, but it has to pair with another card. Doesn't exhaust, and you retain it. Damage of all intents, okay. I'm gonna try Heat Wave. Um, it's not what I would normally take, but I kinda wanna keep playing with heat and get used to the cards. Every time you heal, heal one more. In a max hull and heal one every time you defeat a boss early. Well, it's nice to get that earlier, so. Howdy. Fight me. I kind of want to see what that does, but... Well, I'm not feeling amazing about my current setup, so I think I'm going to pick Fight Me just to see what happens. Upgrading is, or removing is probably better. This ain't my first rodeo, buddy. Maybe it's, I assume, okay, I assume this gets harder the later you do it. Good call. Or is it the same difficulty, and if you're going to do it, you should do it as late as possible, kind of a thing. Power drive doesn't go away. Two heat costs two. Oh, I like the heat minus one. I hit wave heat wave A. That's neat. Four, five, and two heat. Okay. Yeah, yeah makes sense. More zero-cost cards are probably the way to go right now, to be honest. Um, only drains heat once. Oh, that's funny. Oh, makes sense. Heat sink might be one I try to dump later. I think I can do heat sinking better. Removing the downside isn't that helpful on ventilator. I might just want to remove a basic shot for now. Some of those upgrades are okay, but none of them are like mind blowing at the moment. Just holding you back. Who's this guy? And Jumbo. Here to collect the bounty again. It's my fake bounty. I put it on these stairs the day before the time loop started. So they'd be distracted while I robbed them. The dialogue in this game is really funny. Like, they've done a great job with it. I'm very amused by it. Okay, so I'll get the free stun. May as well get the free stun on the one that's gonna hit me for two. Okay. I have a shield to block the one damage, which is great. I should have done a heat wave first, shit. That's okay. Screw up to learn. Peace slug. Okay, I don't have a lot of zero cost cards. I do have a zero cost defend though, which is great. Okay. 
one times three is very mean. Can lunge out of the way, I guess. Okay, so now we won't fuck up and use that too late. Um, heat sink costs one. We don't have the shield this time. I'm supposed to get a max hull increase in heal because of that artifact I took, so. Cancel this guy. Let's put on the block. Get away. Should be able to get like a free kill here. This game is fun as hell. I really like it. Hand cannon. You might have other cards in your hand. Ah, oh, that would have been great last run. Um, very easy for me to get ten. You can hit for ten for two, which is five damage per mana. I'm gonna need another EMP slug. Skip here. Okay, let me remove two cards at repair yards. Holy shit. That's gonna be hard to not take. Um Glissade. Okay, so just like get the ability to move two to the right whenever I need it. And then there's the the top again. I think we take the jettison hatch. Sorry, it won't happen again. Move two cards. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna dump heat sink. Hope you didn't need those. All right, ice boy here. Can stun this thing. Basic block for free. Do I want to scramble now, or do I want to think twice now? I'm not going to be able to use the cards. That, well, I guess I could, because it's only two. Because it's an opportunity to do stuff. Um, it's heat wave, and then we can EMP slug for four. Exothermic release. The heat doesn't do damage at the end until the end of the turn. So I can get up to three and then exothermic release to dump it. That's cool. Okay, so we heat wave, exothermic release. Can't move, right? Well, I guess I can, but I'll just eat the two damage. It's fine. Heat is a neat mechanic. I like it. Um, it's also very flavorful for the setting. damage here. Basic block. Nice. That cancels an intent, which is what we're here for. We do have some heat right now. Let's just do some damage. You can kill them. It doesn't trigger. Okay, that's cool. over. Oh, I forgot to use Heat Wave again. Damn, I'm going to screw that up a lot. I can take one damage. That's fine. Probably going to have to do Ventilator. the mana to ventilate. Oh, but I guess I take the damage anyway. So it resets heat to zero. Okay, so if you're gonna overheat, you wanna like super overheat. I think I misunderstood that. That's fine, I can uh, I can live with that. 
heat above three basically does nothing to you. Slug. Hit for four. So I can pull something good here. Nope. Okay. So it becomes less of a downside the further you get along, the less of a problem. One hull damage is, I guess. Very nice, very nice. Weaken hull. Is that just permanent? That seems kind of good. From Hell's Heart. <laughs> I don't know if I'm brave enough to take that one. Um, attack damages you're missing hull. Heal one. Lose all but one hull. Attack damages you're missing hull. Okay. It's for someone braver than I am. Gain a chip shot at the start of every turn. Like a power, essentially. Okay. Makes it so it doesn't evade, so you can keep getting lots more chip shots. Because that's good with um, overpower or whatever. Yeah. I'll try to make this one work. It's expensive. You end your turn with more than zero energy. Your wings will retract and become empty until your turn starts. Oh, that's that's a really cool concept. Like, there's so much cool design space in this that I don't even think about. Uh, I think Demon Thrusters is pretty good. <laughs> okay, so if I try to take the thermoreactor, then I need to start investing in more heat dumping. Preferably free. But extra energy is very powerful. I feel like this is going to get me killed. This might save me. Fuck it, we're, we're trying out Drake. Let's take the thermal reactor. Books, you're killing it out there. It's nice to meet the fans. If you step on a crystal barefoot, it really hurts. Wow, that's crazy. they have like the perfect amount of dialogue like it's actually quite funny and then there's not too much of it which is nice okay. problem with endless magazine is it doesn't start helping me until the next turn and i don't presently have a way to force the stun Unfortunately, Exothermic Release is a uh, exhaust card, so I need to get some kind of like permanent heat sink. I had one that I discard uh, that I trashed, but I don't think it was that great. Wish I had uh, lunge here. Try to fish for it now. Endless Magazine, I think, is going to cause me problems. Every time it's in my hand and I'm not casting it, it's making me think I fucked up by taking it. Let's see what Ventilator gives me here. Oh, there we go. Front-loaded Blast. Attack for four. Add three fumes. Options. Echo. 
guessing one makes it free. Move a card to your hand. Live without it. You want to fight as many elites as possible for artifacts and for more max hull. Dual guy again. Let's just shoot his weak point and be done with it. Serazzo. I'm not offering a duel today, jerk. Double damage from all attacks. It's going to launch something. Okay. This one's about to buff itself. Go ahead and do a whole bunch of damage there. Basic block and heat wave is not a good use here. Okay. Still not using endless magazine, who we Okay. Uh, I can move over one. I can hit him for six. Plus two. Oh yeah, I've got lethal. Okay. And the heat doesn't matter because the battle's over. It's fun. Okay. Quick thinking, Vamoose, Firewall A. Uh, it's better. Deuce is heat. Two shield. I guess I can, I don't want to get rid of my upgraded block card. Two shield and I drop a heat and I have it forever and it, I wish it cost zero, but can live with it costing one. Dracula! <laughs> it is, of course, me, your old friend Dracula. Oh, hey, it's Dracula. What's new? <laughs> Miserable pile of errands. <laughs> Interest you in some vampiric dark arts? Just a little. Two leeches. No thanks, Dracula. This is fucking great. It's actually kind of good for overheat. Um, I think one leech is maybe the better way to go here. And it's stun. Yeah, I like it. Enough talk. How about you? See you later, Dracula. <laughs> uh, this game's really good. Very funny. Yeah, let's fucking get the Endless Magazine already, right? Stop sitting on it. Get rid of that heat that I started with. Avoid taking damage from this shot here. Purple Shield will always uh, take the damage first, right? This might pull my basic block. That's what I was going for. Okay. Rogue Starnacle. Just throw me a card. Bissell Vision. Spooky. Okay, there's Chip Shot, but I did not pull Overheat thing. Um, let's see. Left one. MP Slug this guy. Get stunned with the next attack here. It's good. Love to see it. Let's card all cards. Dump my heat. It's fine. It's not helpful here. Abyssal vision. Here's some of that heat. I'll just turn on a fan or something. Oh boy. You're having the... Oh, I do have the reversible lunge. Hell yeah. Let's go. Very nice.
Abyssal Visions is just like a daze card, right? Like it's annoying, but it doesn't directly harm me really. Four shield. Could try to basic dodge my way out of part of this, but I'm already at max shield, so firewall's not very helpful here. do is we lunge and then chip shot. Oh, I had it set to go the other way. Shit. It was a mistake. Oops. I'll take zero. It's not a big deal. Remember to flip those. Okay, well, there's my leech. Okay, heat wave. Which helps with the chip shot. Still a four to EMP slug. Or multi shot, I guess it doesn't really matter. One gives me heat and one doesn't, so. So it gets the stun. Really badly needed to pull lunge there. Um, let's see what this gives me. I guess this is nice because I can keep doing it. Okay. Nice. Sweet. Power play. Add one damage to all attacks. Lose a hull. Well, that's not bad in combination with Leech, but... Seer. Oh, wow. Seer is, like, almost a strictly better um, multi-shot. Although it does have heat, but I can make it better if I upgrade it. Okay. Double stun. That's weird. Uh... When would that matter, right? Because stun is stun. Are there things that like have like stun hit points that can ignore a certain number of stun before it affects them? I like power play, but costs more. Hull damage doesn't happen. Only costs one. I think I like Seer, but I'm going to take Power Play and try to use it with uh, Chip Shot. Major turn with more than zero energy, gain a shield. Heal one after each combat. Shield lasts between combats. It would be great if I was really built on shield, but I'm not. So I'm going to take this guy because it helps with my uh, heat problem. I think I already missed the when you heal, you heal more. That would be a nice combo with that. Great. So leech. It's for three, heals two, costs the same. It's for two, costs two, doesn't exhaust. I think I bring this down to one, honestly. Rather than make it cost more. Maybe I should do one more discard before I start upgrading. So let's get rid of basic dodge. And... Scramble can be a lifesaver. I feel like I need to upgrade it for, like, I think it needs to give me three for it to be really worth two mana. So I think I'm gonna dump it for now. I'm gonna try to do the, like, kill the enemy before they kill you strategy see how badly that fucks me now. Uh, unpick up your missile bay gains armor. Every time an attack misses by one. Okay, I like that one a lot. Um, let's fight this elite. Weird emergency signal. Friendly ship is under attack from themselves? I love these characters, Sogans. I made a big old mistake. My missiles, please help. Let's explode the frog. Enter combat? 
Please don't shoot. I'm not hostile. This guy's a mess. So I just have to deal with his missiles without hurting him, essentially. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's turn that on so we have the options. I kind of like Ventilator because if you have a lot of mana, you can just use it to keep pulling in cards. Um, Here. Poor guy. Trying to turn it off. Hold on. I don't really have the movement, so. Trying to help you, buddy. Maybe getting rid of both of my sources of evade was a bad choice. Okay, doing more damage doesn't really help because I just need to be able to shoot them. That's great. I do have lunge still, so that's helpful. Sagan's very cool ship. About to take four damage. Okay, so now I need to pull lunge. Lunge, please. There it is. Okay. Okay. Chip shot and then lunge goes too far. But I think he survives. And I haven't hurt him at all. It's not doing anything. That's oh, his last one, okay. Oh, bummer, he didn't move that time. I don't have any draw now. Is he gonna take, he's gonna take two, four, five, six. Fuck, I can't save him, ah, it's so sad. Should have held on to one of my so I need to get evade soon, basically. Sorry, man. Oh, he got away before the corrosion damage killed him. Wow, I got lucky there. I did not deserve that. I for you one treat. This hard drive I found earlier, missile malware. Does that apply to the enemy? Artifact I found. Oh yeah, let's do artifact. Okay. I, I need that now. <laughs> no, it's fine. I wasn't using that anyways. Okay, I got a little crystalline offshoot. Sure, the enemy's missiles. Okay. This turn, the damage isn't gonna hurt me. Power play. We hope that we pull leech, I guess. Do that because it's basically free.
chip shot. I can use Glissade. Let's leech that back. Multi shots. Love chip shot for three damage. That's nice. Cool. Leech paying the bills. Overpower. Hot compress. Kill one hole. Temp shield. Three heat. It's down to zero. Okay. Cost less heat. I would take that if it came upgraded, but I don't think I want to invest in upgrading it right now. When you shoot a missile, turn it around. I think that one's not as awesome as it sounds. Draw a card when you miss a shot. This may be helpful in combination with the thing that makes me do more damage when I miss by one. They really want me to get the top, but I still don't have the, the build for it, so I think we take this. Okay, so I think I'm done removing cards. I'm okay with what I got. Eight between leech. Endless magazine it does damage. I can keep doing it. Because I have power play, I think that's what I do. Rigs? It's really an infinite supply, you guys, huh? There's only one of me. I'm the original flavor, baby. Okay. Guess I gotta open by doing these two. I'm trying to not take, I guess I'll take one damage, which is acceptable. If I pull anything that's great here. It's okay. Chip shot that does two damage now. What is the cockpit? Okay. And fragile is on the left. Let's see. things or endless magazine bunch of missiles that I can't do fuck all about because I'm a dummy um, missiles hit for two I try to get in there and just hit his weak point for a bunch of damage temporary shields for one turn okay, let's just do that a little bit more damage, but it's okay. Don't have the heat thing here. Chip shot, chip shot. Multi shot. Which is okay. Let's see what ventilator pulls me here. Multi shot again. Oh, I can't afford it though. Oh, shoot. Moving to right doesn't really change the damage I'm going to take. There's a little bit, but... Double chip shots. If I do this again, or is this overkill? Gets me in range of this thing. I already used my stun. That was stupid. That's okay. Can take two damage though. Take one from the heat. One from that. Three chip shots. 
beautiful. Hoping I was gonna pull the uh, heat wave thing. Um, oh shit, wrong button. Fortunately, it didn't throw. Oh, there was heat wave. Well, whatever, I got it. It's fine. Very good. <laughs> I don't think I need another one. Might take that. Although I wish it was the other version. Uh, I like this one better. Thermal battery, gain in energy and a heat. Draw a card, gain an energy and a heat. Gain two energy, gain two heat. It's probably gonna do more favors for me than another Think Twice or another Endless Magazine. On pickup, remove three cards. A little late for that. One of two common artifacts, then gain one of two common artifacts, and gain one of two common artifacts. Add three Genesis Canisters canisters to your deck. I have to be able to spend mana to dump the Genesis Canisters. Draw plus two cards to return. You're offered one less card in post-battle card rewards. You can no longer see. I remember this from last episode. I'm like, okay, that first one sounds fine. The second one sounds real bad. Let's do Genesis. I can deal with it. Um, gain one energy every third turn. First time you lose hull, which actually could be happening to me quite a bit. The problem is the overdrive only applies if I damage myself, which I can do, right? With power play. Power play is like a setup turn, and the heat doesn't damage me right away, so... I think we take the extra energy. All enemy cockpits start with weak. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. Let's do all Drake, Armored Bay. That's okay. I need to try to get rid of these canisters as soon as possible. Should be doable, I think. Hold one here. I move to right. Taking four no matter what. But I can lunge and then move two to the right. So I'll take one unless if I pull my free block here, which I did not. That's okay. Batteries, not the turn to do that. Take two damage regardless. So. Probably should upgrade the leech when I get a chance. Pulling my good shit this time. Damn. Rude. There's Leech. There's Endless Magazine. Damn. Lunge out of the way of that. have this be the round where I try to get rid of all my Genesis canisters and try to deal with the hull damage later. Maybe not super well advised. Slug. Oh, we got right dumb. 
I guess I could try to pull the Tennessee's canister to get rid of it. Hand cannon B. Out of other cards in your hand. Cost three though. I like that version of charge beam. Can probably make it work. It's a little late. Might need to take Chuke. Since I've been kind of an idiot with my evade. Well, let's try to make charge beam work. Okay, so repair yard is good. But I want more artifacts and I want more healing plus max hull from elite, so let's try that instead. Genesis canister and have it be over with. Say it out of the way. Let's do some. Doesn't give me enough to cast. I guess I could cast a ventilator, but who cares? I need to upgrade thermal battery one as soon as I can. Just to disable one of these here. I do like charge beam as each time the card is drawn. So if I can just cycle, I don't have to actually activate it now. So that's kind of cool. Probably should have used heat wave there, but the power play keeps showing up in my hand too late. It's too bad. Com jam, unplayable. Can go left one, and then I have to have armor for one of the hits. I should be able to get rid of the other one. Draw shot. There's my multi shot. Let's see what else I pull first, I guess. Here's endless magazine. Tiny bit late, but what are you gonna do? Okay, the green, the pink shield always goes above my full shield. Okay. Gotcha. There's heat wave and chip shot in the same screen. We like to see that. Don't have lunge in this hand, so the fact that that piece has armor is kind of annoying. That ignores the armor though, which is good. Watch how much time has passed and lose track of time in this game. It's really good. Okay, charge beam's already up to six. Power play. Well, let's see, how much health does he have? 13. So I hit him for 6, 8. Okay, not enough by itself, but it's gonna make me take a hull damage, which is kind of annoying. Oh, I forgot I was targeting a uh, part that had armor. No, that was a miscalculation. This is gonna hurt. Jam just gets nastier and nastier. Ace A, gain one of eight every turn. I might need that. Uh, <laughs> it's another power card that I have to cast, though, and I'm, I've got too many of those right now. I guess I'll try to upgrade thermal battery when I can. I need the evade real bad. Yeah, I like it. Lose one HP, gain an artifact. Sort of combat gain temp shield equal to your missing all. Well, makes my first turn relatively safe in my current situation. Did not pull any of it. This is the one with the walls. It's 
fuck him up good right here. He doesn't start attacking until I hit him. Okay, didn't realize that. I have the temp shield to absorb all of this. So I may as well just try to fuck him up here. Um... I feel like each time this card is drawn, this fight had three. That's good. Moving more to the right doesn't. Well, the temp shield is gone regardless, so. It's fine. is less helpful in this fight because of the walls. I was sure it didn't power play. I could have afforded it. It's okay. Unless magazine A... Weaken Hall. Table flip. <laughs> All cards with flippable actions to just move are flippable for the rest of combat. Move to the right. It's kind of an interesting card. We take this, but I think two of them is too many. Every five parry cards played gain a chip shot. Uh, well, I do a lot of those. I think because chip shot counts as one. It's kind of like the claw deck in um, Play the Spire. That's pretty good, Sharp Edges. Let's do this. It's fun. Smith. Dang, you know, hang out with these guys now? You've gone soft. I have to get really far to the right, though. I guess it's weak over there. Let's see what I pull. Uh, I wish I could afford it in this magazine or ace there. Dang. Side in that situation. Although I guess it discards itself if it's your last card. Okay, that tracks. It will be defended from the one damage, so I can go ahead and do endless magazine now. Don't like you. Can't miss. I'd have to blow it up, so I'm just gonna have to take the damage, I think. Or I could just beat the enemy right now. Multi-Blast B. <laughs> That's an interesting card. Uh, exothermic Release B. I guess it is an exhaust card, which makes its effect on my hand less severe. Heat seems like it's a really big downside when you first encounter it, and then it, I think it turns out it's actually not that bad. Draw two extra cards in the first turn. Stop trying to give me this damn card. I, I, it's good, but... I gotta take this. I still can't activate the top ability. Okay. So, smart person would heal. I do think the shop gives you too many competing really good things. It's really hard to pick between removing cards, upgrading, and healing. Um, 
I wouldn't mind if there were like certain shops where like this shop can only do this, right? Uh, let's see. Do leech. Thermal battery is quite a bit better if it's two. Yeah, it's tolerable. Leech, if I upgrade it, it's not going to last terribly more combats. likely to get me a win, I think, because I have a lot of health. Starts corroded. What power play? We like that. Already facing a thing that I can damage. Endless magazine, great. Battery into basic block. Let's say it gets me to avoid some damage here, so let's do it. Oh no, I take no damage thanks to that armored missile day. Yes. Okay. Definitely a chip shot. Table that. I no, should have heat waved. Hello. Oh, well. I do it now, but it's a little late. This hits for six and costs one. I should chip shot here. I think Ace is going to save me on the boss fight. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Some heat. Ignore his armor. We'll get hit for two. It's tolerable though. Any more chip shots, please. the damage and thermal battery is not useful here. Well, lunge is helpful here. Oh we got it. Sorry. Nice. Multi shot B another ace. Guess what I'm trying to set up for the whole boss fight. It's not bad. And it's exhausted once I activate it. Enemy cockpit start weak. First attack each turn pierces. I don't know that I'm going to be able to take advantage of this. This is okay. But I have a lot of like attacks where I'm hitting a bunch of different times. So I think revenge drive is strong, but I don't think I have a thing that activates it, right? Like I don't... Power play is the only thing that directly damages myself on the same turn. So it'd be okay if I could like blow up my own mine or something. So I think I'd take cockpit lock on. Already took the heal. Probably upgrade. What do we take though? Probably thermal battery. Just say who cares about the heat. Way too eager to get aboard the Cobalt. Did you feel it calling out to you? Maybe a little, yeah. Start not facing it, which is annoying. So let's go ahead and activate as many powers as we can. Did not pull the battery in this hand. Dude. Ace I can cast later. This is gonna be damage for the whole fight. Um, 
try the ventilator and just pray that it... Well, let's see. Did not give me the cards I needed, sadly. So I'm just gonna get hit pretty hard here. There's the thermal battery that I was hoping to pull a second ago. Firewall's okay here. It's multi shot in. Chip shot. Chip shot again. There's the ace. I think thermal battery is dead so no I can still pull it to my draw pile I guess draw shot is just as likely to pull it so I may as well do some damage didn't get it but that's okay does it I thought I had it before and it didn't work unless if I damaged myself All right, well, that pays for ace Big boy there. Now it would be nice to have that rigs ability. There's heat wave. Heal. So thermic release. Multi shot. Cycling is good. Heat wave. Endless magazine. Chip shot. Chip shot. Chip shot. Fucking dream against a weak tile, too. Nice. Perfect timing. So we went a little bit over last time, so we'll wrap a little early this time. You're growing stronger. Who shall it be this time? Let's do Drake. See our entire time streams, right? You know, I'm not a good person. Why save me? Your fate is tied to the others. Oh, I get it. You don't even understand good and evil. That's so lame. E minus 35 days before the loop starts. Sweet. It's like a llama. Brimford looks great. Quadruple espresso, you're going soft. Some possum girl is blabbing about it. Rigs. Sick. Uh, Future Mars said, try the new character, Max. Enhance and exhaust other cars and gamble with hand position. That seems fun. I feel like this game is really expandable, too. Like, if they wanted to, like, do a, a DLC update to just add a couple new characters, they could do a lot with that. I like that the cards are connected to the crew members. It's very smart. Like, you have, like, deck building before the game even starts, which is fun. 